Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I've got my lovely children to choose my makeup. So I've got two special guests. I've got Marley and Alvy. They are my two Fox Terrier dogs. And I let them choose my makeup for me. And, well, they are very uncoordinated. So if you want to see what makeup they chose and how I got this makeup look, then keep on watching. So I've got my dogs in here and they don't know what they are doing. So I'm going to start off with some primers. So I'll lay them down and I'll see. So I've got my primers laid down and I tried filming this before and the dogs are too busy wanting to play with their own toys. So I've got the Fasali Unicorn Essence, the Midas Touch Primer from Australis, Strobe Cream from MAC, Benefit Professional and Revlon Prep and Protect. So now we just wait for one of these buggers to choose one. They want to get out. They don't want to play this game. Yeah. Oh. I think he went for Benefit Professional. Thanks, Alvi. Thank you. Right, now I've got foundations. So I've got Too Faced Born This Way, Revlon. Revlon. Wet n Wild Photo Focus, Fenty Pro Filter, Revlon Full Cover and LA Girl Pro Coverage Concealer. I mean, foundation. They're all different shades. This one here is probably the only one that's going to match me because I'm a little bit tan, but we can make the other ones work. So, come on. Choose one. This is not going to plan. Come on, Molly, here. Pop one. Oh god. See anyone else's dog <laughs> sit like this? This is what she does when she wants something. <laughs> oh, like a wee meat cat. Come on, I don't have all day. You pick one. LV. You pick one? I want this one. Oh, she picked that one, so I'm taking okay, it. Okay, for concealer, we've got the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer, NARS Soft Matte, Bare Minerals, Well Rested, it's sort of not a concealer, but this is all I've got, and Maybelline Fit Me. Right. You pick one. Alvi, you pick one. I'll give you three. For one. Here. Come on. Riley, you're supposed to pick one, not walk past them. One now. Here. This one. Or this one. Or this one. You want this one? I think he only just chose that because I put it up to his nose. But I'm going to take what I can get with these I don't off. have any, well I do have face powders but not enough for them to choose. So I'm going straight on to bronzer. So we've got Essence Sun Club. Just the bronzer in this one because the highlighter is gone. That's Kylie Skinny Dip Duo. When Wild Contouring Pillar I'll just use the bronzer. And Too Faced Milk Chocolate Filet. This is literally the situation right now. Marley wants out to get her toy and Alvy is farting on the rug. Oh, good girl. She picked Too Faced Milk Chocolate. Oh, now you want to play. Now for blush, we've got Benefit California, The Balm Down Boy, Natio. What is this? Radiant Mineral Blush Palette and MAC Warm Soul. Alvy, you can't just sit there. You have to choose one. This one? Or this one? Why do you not want to play? Why do you keep farting? LV, just put your paw on it. Come on, Molly. <laughs> what are you doing? LV, come on. This one? Or this one? You want this one? This one? Oh, thank you. Now for highlighters, we've got a few here because highlighters is life. So I've got Fenty Beauty Color Watt and Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal, Mary Lou, Jeffrey, Jeffree Star, Ice Cold, Kylie Jenner, 
King Ultra Glow Exo Beauty Aurora and Australis Strobe Jelly. So now we just wait another half an hour for them to choose. You pick one, this one? Which is one? Come on, you pick one. I'm just using this rug as well because my cup is like really fugly, so I just wanted to look Blah, blah, blah. I just wanted it to look pretty and my dog has stunk out the room because he keeps farting. Ready? Go on. Here. What's this? What's this? What's this? What this? What one? What one do you want? Over here. Choose one. Aww. Oh, she stood on this one, so that's the Kylie Jenner Ultra Glow. Now for eyeshadow palettes, we've got Naked Heat by Urban Decay, Kaleidoscope by Astralis, Armed and Gorgeous, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill, My Little Pony, Colourpop, Collab and Too Faced Sweet Peach. Hopefully they'll pick this one because it smells like peaches but I mean all she's worried about is her toy out in the hallway and locking the door. So I've got some treats here so dog biscuits so she will play and she get rewarded over here where are they over here what's this in here what one Marley she sniffed a bit of this one and this one what one? This one? Or this one? Mm. I think we're going to go with Sweet Peach. Now for eyelashes, we've got two EXO Beauty ones. We've got the Feline and Glamourista. So let's just wait for her to pick one. You pick one? This one? Or this one? She sniffed it. I'm we've taking it. We've got mascaras now. No. Oh. So we've got Benefit Roller Lash, Bag Down Bang, which she just sniffed the hell out of. So we're going to go for that. Maybelline, Nadio, and Too Faced. But we're going for the Benefit. You want this one? Yeah. Now, lastly, we've got lipsticks. So we've got Anastasia, Dusty Rose, Exo Beauty, and the. What is that? Impavid. Uh, MAC, Blankety, Colourpop, Little Stitious, and Revlon, Sultry, Samba. So now we just wait for Little Girl to pick one. What one? Ali, can you pick one? Here, what one? Here. Now she's just wanting treats. I'll give you one. No, you have to choose one first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. She picked this one, I think. She had her nose on it. So, that is XO Beauty Impavid. And we are finally all done. It actually didn't take as long as I thought. Thank you. I started off with my eyebrows just because I only use one sort of eyebrow products so I didn't see the point of my dogs choosing that so I've done them and we'll go on to eyes and I'm just using the concealer that they chose which was the covergirl vitalist healthy concealer I've got the shade fear I'm just going to use that to try my eyes and the eczema on my face is a lot better now thank god it's actually looked like I had pink eye. It's using a sponge to blend that in. So the palette that they chose was the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And I really don't know what I want to do. Just because they chose a red lip as well. And these are all sort of like, 
I don't know. I might just have to do a smoky eye or something, but we'll see what we can do. So I'm just going to set my eyelid just with the peaches and cream shade, which you can tell is what I use to set my eye very regularly. It's just a nice matte skin tone sort of shade. Going in with a blending brush. And I might start off with the shade Puree and just start blending that in my crease. Fully into that colour. Build it up so if you can hear the dogs barking. Now that I've got that colour down, I might hop into Summer Yum, which is like a terracotta brown ready shade. Just with the same brush. And again, just blend that on the outer V and slowly bring it in into the crease. I'm going to go in with a more tapered sort of blending brush, just with that Summer Yum shade again. And just put that in the outer V and the inner corner. I think I might do a bit of a halo. Eyeing up that summer young shade just in the inner and outer corner. Now I'm just gonna go in with like this Packer shader brush from Real Techniques and the shade Charmed, I'm sure, which is like a cool tone brown. I'm going to Put that on my outer V and inner corner just to deepen it up. I've just finished watching the seventh season of American Horror Story, the cult one. What are your thoughts on it? I feel like with the American Horror Story seasons, it's really good at the start and the middle, but then at the end when everything that has happened and there's like not much of a storyline left so it gets sort of like confusing and just weird and it doesn't really fit I don't know let me know your thoughts on it down below it makes me want to watch them all over again which I might do today going in with that blending brush just that more tapered one just to blend out that deeper brown. I'm going to go in with my concealer and just put that in the centre of my eye just a wee bit just for the halo eye and I'm just going to go with a just a synthetic shader brush just to blend that out. It's just going to go in with that shader brush just to blend the edges. For the middle I might go in with the shade Nectar which is like an orangey yellow gold I guess. Uh, I don't really know how to describe it. Just with that shame, shame? Just with that same synthetic shader brush. This is one just from Kylie and I'm going to place that on that concealer. Just back in with that shader brush with the brown on it, just to blend the edges. Might go in with the shade Tempting, which is like a shimmery black, just with a just a wee bit of it, just to deepen up the outer corner, and just one last blend, just so everything is nice and seamless there's a lot of fallout under here it makes me look sick so for mascara they picked the benefit bad girl bang this one is probably my next favorite after the roller lash I'm just gonna put a wee bit on just because we are wearing false lashes so for lashes they chose the EXO Beauty Glamour Resta. Nice and like natural-ish sort of lashes. I love my EXO Beauty lashes. I'll leave the link for them down below. They're quite affordable as well. So I'm going to hop off camera, 
up these two so I just put them on and I'll come back for the face. Now that we have got the lashes on, I am liking the more dramatic lashes at the moment like the XO Beauty The Brave. They have become my favourite lash. I need to stock up on them. But now for primer, they chose something that I don't usually go for anymore. I don't know why. I mean it is a good primer. I just like to try new things but this is really good. Um, it's the Pen Penefit. It's the Benefit Pore Professional. I do like the more luminizing one in the pink tube. The what is it? I've got a wee sample size here. The Professional Pearl Primer. This one's a bit more matte, but I, I like this one a wee bit more because I do like the dewy sort of look. But this is what my little kids chose today, so we're going to use that. And I do sort of have pores, but they're not too noticeable. We'll just put that on my forehead, nose, and just here. And a good tip if you've got sort of like textured skin not really pores but like say like this pimple right here put a wee bit of like a pore minimizing primer it will help smooth out the texture i get quite a bit of texture on my cheekbone and when i put highlighter on it kind of emphasizes it so a good wee tip is put this on it it's sort of like a silicon 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 do you say silicon or silicon? Like how it's spelled? I say silicon. Just like I work at a chemist and it's prescription, but we say prescription. Is there anyone else? Prescription or prescription? I saw that on Family Guide. You let me know down below. This is like really weird. So now that I've got my primer on, I'm going to let that sink in for a wee bit. But the foundation, my lovely children, who are very uncoordinated, chose the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Longwear Illuminating Foundation. I'm in the shade Fair. This is not fair. This would match me now when I've got a little bit of fake tan on. So luckily they picked this because they were the one too dark when I'm freshly fake tanned. Or when I'm pale. So they did good by choosing this. One that's actually going to match. And I just put a wee bit on the back of my hand. It's quite runny. Now I would recommend this if you've got dry skin or if you like like a dewy finish. And the coverage on this is super good for the price. I think it's only about $20. $20. I like how a lot of like cheaper brands here in New Zealand are coming out with some good makeup. Like MAC used to be like the brand that everyone would go to and oh my god. It's running all down my hand. I find MAC is is good, but it's really overrated. There's a whole makeup brand like there's a whole lot of different makeup brands out there that are way better than MAC I find MAC I don't know it is I do like the MAC lipsticks and I love the strobe cream and the fix plus but I don't know I think people just go to it because it's like a cult favorite like I don't know but This foundation is just amazing. I love it. Makes your skin look so good and glowy. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It might be a little bit too dark. My neck, my tan never stays on my neck. And in my last video I was saying how these EXO Beauty sponges are a bit inconsistent. This one here is really hard. So I've probably got two or three. But this one here... It's not wet, but you can see it's a lot more like squishier in this one. I don't know, can you tell? One's more denser and this one's like really soft and squishy. Can you let me know down below if it's the way I'm cleaning them? Or if 
like anyone else has had trouble with their EXO Beauty sponges. I mean they are still good and it does blend out my foundation but it's like hitting a rock on my head. I need to get this in like all the shades. If I go back to freelancing I'm definitely going to put this in my makeup kit. I used to use the MAC Studio Fix and it was good like as I was saying before like some MAC products are good and some of them are overrated. I do like the MAC Studio Fix. It's good for like photos and it stays on and it's like a semi matte so it's not too matte and drying but it's like in between so it caters for both skin types but that would definitely be a staple in my kit if I was going to start that back up again but due to my job but due to my job I can't do freelancing outside of work so it's a shame but it is what it is. Back to the concealer which was the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy. I'm just going to put this under my eyes. I really like this concealer. It's not like drying at all. I find a lot of concealers be too drying under my under eyes. I I know and with like this eczema under my eyes it doesn't emphasize like the texture it, it hides it which I'm happy about but it's nice and lightweight and it's got decent coverage I'm just going to set my face with a face powder that I've got on me and I do recommend setting this foundation down just because it is like a wee bit oily looking but if you're into that look you don't have to, I just feel like it just looks a whole lot better set. I'm just going to set under my eyes as well, just with something that I've got in front of me. So back in with the Sweet Peach palette, I'm going to go in with the shades Summer Yum and Puree, these two here. Just blend that underneath my eye. As I was saying, my computer just shut off. Um, if I'm not really acting, acting, if I'm not really myself in my videos, it's just that I'm not comfortable talking to a camera yet. Like, it is a wee bit strange, but I feel like the more videos I make, the more comfortable I will be making videos and no, talking to a camera. I'm just going in with the shade Nectar, just in my inner corner, and brow bone. Um, I just like making videos. It's sort of like my own my time, where I can just relax, do my makeup, which helps like relax me. I get really bad anxiety, and I feel like just sitting down in my space with all the makeup. I love my makeup, it just relaxes me and just, yeah, it's sort of just my happy place. So I'm going into bronzer and they chose Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil which is very, very loved. And I'm just starting off with a big powder brush and just blending that. Sometimes I watch my videos back and I go so aggressive on my face with like bronzer and when I'm doing my foundation I look like I'm attacking myself. Let me know down below, I think I mentioned this in one of my old videos, if you wanted to see a, um, like a tattoo tag sort of video. I've got the start of a sleeve here, I haven't touched it in like a year I would say. I just don't know what else to put on it but I do have a lot more tattoos. A lot of people don't think I have tattoos just because they are in I can hide them easily and like yeah let me know down below if you want to see a tattoo tag and I'll show you guys my tattoo. Nearly done for blush they chose California by Benefit. This is really pigmented. For highlighter, I've got the Kylie Jenner Ultra Glow in King. 
The shit is bomb. I never use it because I feel like people will be like, what is that on your face? You've got too much highlighter. But this is really good. It is a wee bit messy though, like in the cap. Don't mind the dogs. And it's sort of like a goldy, pearly shade if you can see. It's gonna go with what's in the cap with a highlighter brush. And it is sort of glittery. I do, I, I did find the queen shade a bit more glittery, which was like a pinky sort of shade. They are gorgeous though. I really like these. See? Can you see that? You just have to really blend it in. Now, lastly, lips. So, they chose the Impavid Liquid Lipstick from EXO Beauty. I do really like these. I find them really creamy and pigmented and they smell amazing as well. My lips are really uneven so they might look a little bit weird. I'm just going to blot it on this makeup wipe just to get the excess product off and there we go. Here is the makeup my dogs chose for me. I think I did a pretty good job. This lip probably doesn't go with the eye look, but I did what I could. Let me know down below if you want to see some more makeup challenges and leave some suggestions down below that you would like to see. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out. And make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload and I'll see you guys soon. See ya!